everyone, welcome to another project video. In this week's lesson, we're going to learn about the two types of shapes that we can find, organic and geometric. The shape is a closed space made when a line connects to itself. The organic shapes are often curvilinear in appearance and are very similar to those that we find in nature, such as plants, animals, and rocks. Geometric shapes are any type of shapes that are based on math principles. You also know them by name, like a square, a circle, a triangle, a trapezoid, and all of those. We're also going to get inspired on contemporary artist Reggie Laurent. Reggie Laurent is an American artist from Chicago. He currently lives in Georgia and has been painting since 1986. Reggie's multicolor paintings are big and small, round and square, triangular and trapezoidal. Everything Reggie touches seems to glow with color, even everyday objects. His artwork isn't limited to just paint on a canvas. He also paints everything from wooden bowls to rolling pins. When it comes to what Reggie will paint next, the possibilities seem endless. We can see on his paintings how he combines all kinds of shapes in the same canvas, which is why he's the perfect inspiration for us today. So now that we are very inspired, let's gather up some white paper, different colors of paper, scissors and glue, and some crayons. Are you ready? Let's make! To start, we're gonna draw a bunch of geometric shapes on our color paper. Let's see how many you can remember. You can freehand draw them or use your ruler to help you out. Once you have a couple, cut them up and start arranging them in your paper. Arranging will help a lot for your composition. It's like building a puzzle, but you get to decide where everything goes. Next, grab more color paper, but this time let's draw those organic shapes we were talking about. So make sure they don't have any straight edges and they look curvy and even kind of slimy. Once you have a couple, start putting them in your paper combined with your geometric shapes, like a soup. Oh, now I get it, a soup of shapes. And if you need to draw more shapes to fill up the paper, do so. Make sure they all fit around each other, filling up the paper, but with enough space around them to breathe. Once you have a composition that you like, start gluing all of your shapes into your paper. Next, we will add patterns and color inside of our shapes, just like one of Reggie's paintings. You could add patterns of line, dots, little shapes, anything you want. Get creative. We're going to get a little bit crazy and with some control scribble scrabble. That means that we're going to do messy scrabble lines in all of our white background, but we're going to be very careful not to color inside of our shapes. So do it all with black crayon first and then pick another color that you like and go around all of your paper again with that color. And voila! We have just now created an abstract painting inspired, of course, on artist Reggie Laurent. Amazing! Once again, I thank you for allowing me in your time and your space and I thank you for creating with me. I'll see you again next week. Bye.